I'm Henry Baguma. I work for the government radio UBC. I like radio and many people I prefer radio than any other system because of its simplicity. First of all, like in the case of Uganda, it is a radio that has all languages that reach out. Two, radio, you can listen to information anytime without any input. But for example, newspapers, you have to buy the paper. You must also know English because most papers are in English languages. And uh, television, there are other things that go with it. You must have a TV set, which is in a specific location and you must have electricity all the time. But with radio, even on the mobile, even when you're digging in your garden, you can listen to a radio program, which is not popular with other media establishments. And that's the difference between radio and other media establishments. And because also of simplicity, like in Uganda now, almost all languages, there's a radio giving information in their local language, which is far different from many other media houses. For example, newspapers, I don't know, there are not more than 10 newspapers of local languages. It is English, Luganda, Ate Sol, Nyankoli, Luchiga, and that's all. So that's why radio remains the, the biggest source of information, especially to the lowest people, to the communities. If you go to Karamoja, go to Soroti, go where, you find people listening, which is rare with television. It will remain relevant because uh, it is the first on, 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 on the ground. Things that are first will always remain on the ground, even if people try to undermine them, but they will still remain relevant to a certain level. The internet, yes, it is important, but that's for the elite class. The lowest communities, the, the rural communities, the, the local people are still there waiting. Internet may take years to reach them. And even when it reaches them, it will reach them in a different version, not the, the type of information that's required to that, the, that farmer in the, in the village. That's the difference between internet and other media houses. Because I don't know whether the internet really is yet up to, to the level of the owner. And uh, when you talk about the drought and all this, yeah, you know, again, it's only radio that gives the simplest information. But most information that comes very technical, ordinary people don't understand it, these things. So sometimes it's not very attracting for us to go there because there is no, info, no market. The consumers are not there. For example, you talk about the drought. Who is the consumer of the drought information? Not the ordinary people, naturally. It's only the elite. In any case, by the time we give them information, they already have that information from other sources. But the farmer in Uganda, for example, all he wants to know is to rain, it will not rain, that's all, not beyond that. It may have an impact in terms of national level, policymakers, uh, the elite the academicians, but the ordinary people, it's a little bit difficult.